Hey, how you guys doing? Um, I'm doing this <laughs> because I wanted to and because I wanted to change up my content a little bit. So I'm going to be talking about uh, some anime that I used to really like and still kind of do like out of a sense of nostalgia. Uh, the one that I'm going to talk about today uh, was first a manga and then it became an anime series. I hope you guys don't mind the fact that I said anime. Some people would get very angry about that. But um, the uh, particular show or manga that I'm going to be talking about is going to be uh, Love Hina. And the first time that I read this, it was kind of funny because I was reading it as uh, someone that was around the age of the main character. So it's kind of funny that um, I'm reviewing it now. It's just... Over the years, I, I had a YouTube channel, but I never really used it, so I, I plan on uh, mixing up my content and talking about things from way back when, because on some level, I think not only do I like things that I'm nostalgic for, but I think a lot of other people have nostalgia for the same kind of things, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this, this new uh, direction this channel's going. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to keep the other things going as well. Uh, Love Hina is an interesting manga, but it's also an interesting uh, anime series as well. I have the whole box set, so we're going to be reviewing uh, possibly both, talking about the strengths and weaknesses of the anime versus the manga and, you know, things like that. So, so yeah, um... If you've never read it before, then uh, I would recommend you read it. Uh, the main character, like I said, is a 20-something-year-old guy named Keitaro Urashima. If you've seen me use that name before, then um, that's kind of a nod to the first uh, first successful anime that um, Ken Nakamatsu ever made. So, it was this, and then... Then he moved on to make Negima, which is where I got the name of my uh, my internet persona, as I would probably refer to it. Um, that's basically the best way to call it an internet persona. So, without talking about uh, Love Hina, I can't even talk about uh, Maho Sensei Negima. So. So this seemed like a very natural place to start. Uh, the main character, Keitaro, he's um, he's an interesting dude because, in a way, I think he was designed to appeal to the the reading audience, which is is like um, without being too rude, I think the reading audience was made up mostly of otaku types, uh, nerdy losers. Uh, people who would be able to relate to Keitaro in his situation, uh, being borderline about to be kicked out of his house because he's not um, he's not getting into university, which in Japan is quite complicated. It's not easy to get into a college in um, in Japan. You actually have to pass an entrance exam, and the entrance exam is based off the things you learned in high school. And it seems Keitaro was not a very good student because he has a hard time uh, passing the entrance exam. Not only for any university, but for uh, the main prestigious university, uh, Todai or Tokyo uh, University. And the reason he's aiming for Todai has to do with the fact that he promised a girl many, many years ago that he would get into Todai and that they would eventually fall in love and all this other stuff and uh, because of that he's never been able to move past this one particular girl even though she moved away and he didn't know where she went so in this in this series he's trying to find her he's trying to get into this prestigious school so it's kind of a, kind of a funny plot for a manga but in a lot of ways this manga established a pattern for others and it eventually would develop into the whole harem genre so if you know anything about uh, anime or manga you know that when you have one male character and you have a whole bunch of female characters that seem to be orbiting around him that's a 
a, a harem manga or harem anime. So this established that pattern in a way, and and going from here to Negima is kind of a uh, it's going to be a jarring thing. But I eventually will review Negima at some point because I use the name of the main character of that series as well, and that's the channel you're on. So you probably will want to know uh, who it is that I got the name from. So I had to talk about this other work by Ken Akamatsu. So, or Ken Akamatsu, if you want to be specific in Japanese, because as somebody who teaches Japanese, or would be teaching Japanese, it's kind of hard to uh, say things the way I think other people would understand them. Because there's a lot of things that go with Japanese that are kind of complicated, but that's a whole other video. And uh, this is basically just about uh, the anime and manga series Love Hina. So I'm going to keep my weeb spurgings to a, a minimum. Who am I kidding? You, you know that's not going to be possible. <laughs> so yeah, um... The plot that I just described is basically the backbone of this whole this whole series. Uh, the guy uh, goes to live at this uh, spring his grandmother owns, finds out that she's not there anymore. She's gone to, to travel, to see the world, to have some fun before she dies, presumably. And she's left everything, you know, left everything there, you know, so he pretty much has nothing there for him. Uh, by lying to the, the current inhabitants, all these girls, he basically deceives them into thinking that he's going to school to be a lawyer and all this other stuff. And their imagination kind of goes, you know, they run wild with their imagination thinking that, um, that our boy Keitaro is going to be a successful individual. So they're thinking that they're going to be able to get some of that some of that money, some of that success. They see him as their golden ticket, so they let him stay. And that deception doesn't even last that long because they find out that he was lying the whole time. And they pretty much come close to kicking him out, but they ultimately don't because it's a manga series and we wouldn't want to have a homeless saga with a main character, especially not someone like Keitaro. He'd be dead in a week. But, um, yeah, so, this is just some, it, it's an interesting premise, and to an extent it kind of, uh, goes into some interesting places, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of character development, if you know what I mean, character development, um, so it's, it's definitely an interesting thing, and it, it kind of shows you where the author, you know, was before he made Maho Sensei Negima. So, we definitely will have to do more videos on this and other anime series as well. Uh, I do eventually plan on doing the biggest one of them all, uh, Evangelion. Because I know that will probably get me a lot of uh, positive attention, so... Uh, we're going to do anime reviews over here for old anime and manga stuff that people don't really talk about much anymore, but oh well. If you come to this channel, you come to this channel for the right stuff. So, hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoy this and future videos. Uh, hopefully this won't just be a cult channel. So, I look forward to making content for you guys. And uh, like I always say, feel free, feel free to... To rec you know, to request uh, videos, I'm gonna try my best to uh, to fulfill your requests. And if you have the extra bucks on you, uh, please feel free to donate. Uh, not being able to work is kind of a, a pain right now because most jobs require masks. So any donation will be appreciated, and those who donate get first priority when it comes to uh, video requests so I hope to make it worth your while and there's also the Japan trip that I hope to take so if you want to donate uh, you can donate to that too and most of what you send me will go towards improving this channel so 
anything that I can do to give you guys content, uh, I'll do. So, hope, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.